Hey guys, what is up? It is Mr. Ray Guns here, bringing you guys another video. And today I'm starting a brand new series on the channel, which is basically I'm going to be calling it COD Talks. And I plan on starting another another series soon called COD Live, which is something I did on my old channel, where COD Live is basically a series where I play a live game of Call of Duty, and I'll probably be I'll be doing face cam and stuff like that, and um, we just play a live game and see what see what turns out. You know, we'll just talk about random things. But COD Talks is a really kind of chill kind of laid back series where I just talk to you guys about stuff going on and kind of in the community and just like stuff that's been going with Call of Duty. It's kind of like my podcast series except my podcast series is now going to be moving to like hour long episodes with Brad on every single episode and it'll be our podcast series and not mine. So this is going to be like kind of replacing that as my chance to just sit back, relax, chill and talk to you guys about stuff going on. So I just figured to start this one off, we'd be really kind of chilling, take a couple topics, then talk to you guys about my channel and my experiences and stuff like that. Kind of address some rumors and like some controversy that was going around about me and Fractured, and we'll get into all of that. So firstly, with Call of Duty, I was just going to rank the three modes we really have available to us right now, which is multiplayer, blackout, and zombies. So zombies in its current state, I'd give it a, like a B minus. When the game first came out, I would have given it a D, maybe a D plus, but all the updates have now made it to the point where it's a B minus, so it's not great, but it's good. You know, it's above average, I think, at this point, and I can confidently say I really enjoyed uh, playing it. I enjoy playing it right now, actually. But you know, by the way, this game, um, I went off. I, I want to address it because it's in the title. I dropped like three um, drone squads, a gunship that I accidentally canceled out on once I got like 15 kills with it or something like that, and then. Uh, I, call, I got an attack chopper and a couple other stuff. So I went in this game. And basically, um, but zombies, I'd give it a B-. minus. I think gauntlets really helped it out. I think gauntlets is going to be an amazing thing for the community because, well, I'm going to just say it right now, man, Unsinkable has made Voyage so fun for me. You know, uh, I really enjoy it at the state that it's now. Uh, enjoy it in the state that it's in right now. And uh, I really love it. It's a lot of fun. So that's going to be my thoughts on that right now. Um, but I will say DLC 2, I agree with Zazu's theory where it takes place in Delphi, Greece. And I think Nuketown is going to bridge the two DLCs, DLC 2 and DLC 3. So that's my quick thoughts on that. Uh, when it comes to multiplayer, I'd give this shit like a C- type D+. It's just they keep doing really dumb shit. And the League Play thing, I was going to make a full-on rant video tonight. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep things more positive. But... Um, Dude, they have just totally fucked league play I, I, to levels I cannot believe. So there's a big chance we're not even getting league play in January. They probably they lied to us again. So they lied to us and saying it was coming out in December. Then they delayed it till January. Lied to us and said it's coming out in January because it's they changed their update they made on Twitter to the point where they said league play news coming January 29th and not league play on January 29th. So now. We could be waiting for God knows how long for League Play again. And this is just... It's pathetic, man. It's really awful. And they said it's because they want to make some changes to League Play. So maybe if the best case scenario is they just make it like the Black Ops 2 League Play and delay it for like another week, you know. But these fuckers are probably going to delay it till like the end of February, beginning of March. To just, I don't know what to do. Just to edit some small shit or whatever. I don't know, but it's pretty pathetic at this point. It's awful they're doing this. And the multiplayer itself is just boring, man. There's not The only fun I have is when I'm playing with my friends. You know, if I'm trying to play this multiplayer by myself, I don't have any fun. On older Call of Duty's like Black Ops, World at War, MW3 even, I could play for a couple hours just by myself, you know, just having some fun on it. Um, but now on this multiplayer, man, I'll play like three or four games and I'm just not having any fun. Like, going for Dark Matter is fun because I'm racing my friends, but, like, other than that, you know, it's just, it's this multiplayer is so boring and bad. Hit detection's pretty shitty, and, you know, it, it's, it's really bad, man. It's really annoying. By the way, uh, I did get two more guns gold today, so I'm, I think I'm, I'm hopefully going to beat them in the race to Dark Matter. I finished the Swordfish, and I finished the Paladin, so hopefully we can get pretty, pretty close. Hopefully we can get it uh, before the end of February would be like my, be my favorite goal. It'd be my best goal if I can honestly get it before the end of February. Um, but yeah, multiplayer, you're being shitty. Blackout, I, I just say it's probably at the same place as zombies is a B minus where earlier in the year I would have given blackout like an A. Now it's just like, they're not 
making any fun changes. And the fact that the new game mode they released, the wins actually didn't count to your win total on that. That was pretty shitty. But Blackout's still fun. Like, when I play with the squad, and you know, it's really fun. It's intense. It's just not much has changed about it. And the nerves to the concussion, I never really understood because if you run reinforced, the concussions, you know, whatever. And I think a very different way to go about this is if you ran more or you increase the spawn rate of trophy systems and kept the concussion spawn rate the same, I think it'd be fine because you could just run trophy systems a lot more often. But, you know, that, that that's a topic for a whole other video. But regardless, that's basically the state of that. Now, when it comes to my channel, I want to say... The growth has been amazing. I want to thank you guys all for that. You guys already know how I feel about that. Um, I was featured in a, a talk show, episode one of the talk show with ZS today, which blew my fucking mind. Uh, I got to be in the debut episode, so that means the world to me. I will leave a link to their channel down in the description below, as I always do. Um, we had a lot of fun topics. Shoutouts to you know Zazu, Ross, the, the squad that was there. Um, these guys, I've never seen a video get done in one take so easily so quickly just without any issues it was it was awesome honestly i was um it was fantastic here's where i accidentally got out of my kill streak i was pissed but you know i was it was a fantastic video man I, I loved recording it it was great but my personal channel my goal by the end of february because january the beginning of the year is usually a sm slow month for youtubers um, by the end of February, I would like to have at least 530 subscribers, so get like about 25 subs in the month of February, maybe a little more. Um, I, it'd be great to get to 550, but you know, I, I don't want to like do that. I, the ideal goal by summer is to have like 650 to 700 subscribers, and I'm really counting in the summer to just grow a lot more. So, you know, those are that's my current goals as of now. Um, but. That's basically all I wanted to talk about on my channel. Uh, of course, obviously, thank you guys all for the support. But the last thing we're going to be talking about is some drama that went on in Fractured. Now, I want to let you guys know, everyone in the team and I are on good terms now. Like, there's no... Look, we are a big org. And when you have a big organization, you're obviously going to argue. You know, it happens on pro sports teams all the time. Esports teams, it happens all the time. And I, I think we're all good. But basically what happened... Um, there was just, I'm not even going to get that far into it, but there's an argument that happened between me, Frost, Pro, and Calamity, and from that, I think Frost left, but he's still in the group chat, Calamity left, and Pro's still in, um, but everyone's cool, there's no drama between us, I got no disrespect towards any of them, it was just one of those nights where, like, it's late at night, an argument comes into it, you guys, like, take it further than it needed to be on complete accident, and, um, like a day later I just felt like the argument was so stupid and so trivial and you know we're I don't think anyone's really talking about that argument you know no one's really bringing it up no one cares about it it was just something that happened you know so I still got love for Frost even though Calamity's not in Fractured I got wish nothing but the best for her and got nothing but love for Pro you guys already know how it is I'm, you know I don't want to hold grudges or nothing like that we're a team you know arguments are going to happen that's just the way it is and you know Frost was really mature about it too the day after it came to my channel uh, complimented the video and stuff like that so you know like I said I don't think anyone in here has anyone in Fracture has problems with each other right now so that's I want to just get that out of the way because I know you guys saw all the tweets on Twitter and all that kind of stuff and you know I just want to say everyone's good right now we're all good there's no drama no one's mad at each other we're all grinding you know all so on that grind to get fractured a lot more noticed but that's gonna be the, basically the end of the video if you guys enjoyed please be sure to like comment and subscribe check out fracture zs brad cody i'll have all the links in the description and uh yeah tell me what you guys think about the series what do you guys want me to talk about in the next series this could be like a kind of a q a type thing um tomorrow's video i'm planning to bring shout out mondays back but um because i've been slacking the last few weeks but that's basically gonna be the end of it uh, the gameplay was crazy. If you guys enjoyed, please sure like, comment, subscribe. I'm on the road to 515. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.